Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have this nice um, challenge before us here, a nice math problem. So the question is giving us, without the use of a calculator, simplify the square root of bracket open 500 close bracket into 501 into 502 into 503 plus one. Okay, I've made a video on this already, but uh, there's a little error at the end, the last part of the uh, video and I have to take it down to reproduce this. Okay, so let's go into this without much waste of time. So we take our solution here as usual. Okay, so the first thing we do here is just to let x to be equal to whatever we have yet. So we can see a let, so let's take our x be equal to the square root of our 500, then into 500 on one, Right, then into 500 and, and 2, into 503, then plus our 1 year. Okay, all right. So, the next thing we're going to do here to avoid writing or drawing of this square root sign, I'm going to square both side here. Okay, so if I square both side, then I square this side also. So this and this will leave the system. So I'm now left with our 500 into 501 into 502 into 503 plus one. Okay, I did it just to avoid the drawing of the radical here. That's the essence of this. Okay, so what do we do next here? I want to rearrange this system. After the 500, starting with this, followed by this, and followed by this. So that means I want to write this as 500 first, then followed by this 503, close bracket, then followed by our 502, then followed by 501, then plus our one. Okay, we can write this as 500 plus two, and this as 500 plus one. So this will now give us here 500, bracket 500, and three, close bracket, bracket 500 plus two, and here we have 500 plus one, close bracket plus our usual one here. Okay, so what do we do here? I want to use this to open up this now. I want to use this bracket to open this bracket. This very one to open up this. So let's take keep this, this is going to give us 500, bracket our 503, then into, let's have this, this times this, this will give us 500 to the power of two, then this times this will give us plus 500, then we come to this, this times this will give us here plus two into 500, then this times this will give us plus our two, yeah. Okay, so let's put this in the square bracket here. Okay, there plus our one. Yeah, this one we have there. Okay, so what we do next here? Here we are having 500 and we're having two bottles of 500 here. So I can add this and this together to give us three into 500, right? So this one in turn give us this equal to our 500 we bracket to 503, we bracket, bracket, our 500, let's put our square bracket, 500 to the power of 2, plus 3 into 500, plus bracket, there plus uh, 2, right? Plus our square bracket, plus 1. Easy. Okay. At this point, what we do here, look at what we have in here now. I want to factor 500 from here because here I have 500, here I have 500. So I want to factor 500 from just this expression we have here. So if we do that, this will now give us here bracket 500 into our 503 plus bracket into, let's put our square bracket. So if I use 500 to divide this, I'm be left with what? 500. So here yeah, we will have here. 500, okay? Then if I use this 500 to divide this, yeah, I'll be left with just three. You get that? 
then close our bracket, then plus our two, close our square bracket, plus our normal one. Okay, so what we do next here now, it is easy. We look carefully again. We can add this and this together to give us 503. So these, you know, in turn, give us 500 into 503, close bracket. All right, let's put our square bracket there into 500, close bracket. The bracket 503, close bracket, plus two, close our square bracket, plus one. Okay, so let's continue on this side. Ah, right, right. So let's use this term now, like I said before, to open up everything here. So this is going to give us here, this equal to the whole of this time this is going to give us here bracket 500 all to the power of two, bracket 503 all to the power of two. This, look at this, this time this and this time this. So we now use the whole of this again to multiply the two we have in here. So this will now give us plus two, into 500, then bracket, bracket, 503, close bracket, plus, here we have our one here, so let's put our one down here. Okay, now can we draw something from here? Yes, we can draw a special algebraic identity from this place. It says that if you have your A plus our B, R to the power of two, this is equal to our A squared, then plus 2ab plus our b squared. Okay, so this special identity will go to relate it or drop some similarity between this and this. What can we see from here? Here, we discovered that the whole of this is our a. Why our b is 1? Because look at the square of b here, is what we have here now. It's just 1. So we are having two into this. So if we have a to be one, I mean a b to be one, then multiply this by one, it will still give us what we have in here. So let's go ahead and rewrite the whole of this expression in this format. So this now implies that we're going to have bracket 500, close bracket, bracket 503, close bracket, plus our one. Right? Everything now. Bracket up in, or let's take our square bracket, square bracket all to the power of two. We get that. Now remember, it says something that we say let x be equal to this. Okay? So we have x squared on this side. So we have here x squared is equal to the square root of our um, bracket up in 503. The 503 here, the plus one or uh, so our square bracket here. Okay, meanwhile, we have our two here. Okay, so from here, these and these leave the system. Because already we have the square, we're taking the square root here. So this, this leave the system. So this now give us, this is where the mistake lies in my first video. Already we're having the square root here. Okay. So we are not taking original square root that will not give us a plus minus here, no, okay? So here we're not left with our 500 bracket, bracket 503 uh, plus one. So we can use this to times this. This will not give us here, um, let's keep the two zeros, so we have zero, zero, the five times three will give us 15, five times zero will give us zero plus the one you carry will give us here, then 5 times 4 will give us 25 plus our 1. So if we add up this, so this will give us, therefore, our x is equal to, or the simplification is equal to 2, 5, 1, 5, 0, 1. Let me write this 5 very well. Okay. 0, 1. Okay, so this might be end of the simplification. So when you simplify this, Without the use of a calculator, this is the best way to, you know, arrive at your answer. All right, thank you for being there. And then um, we urge you to stay tuned. If you've not subscribed, 
subscribe to our channel because we bring out math challenges that have good approach. Okay, thank you for reading all the time. Bye for now.